Hey, what's up, guys? So you know Zest here. Zest? <laughs> Maybe that's, uh, that's my mom telling me I need to take a shower. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> here we go. Our 2013 CES coverage is powered by Ford. Go further. Hey, what's up, guys? Soldier Knows Best here, back here. See, yes, 2013, some more of my Soldier Knows Best coverage while I'm here. And what I'm going to be showing you in this video is Intel's perceptual technology that they are demoing here at CES 2013. And this is technology is kind of a step up from the Kinect, where the Kinect tracks your arms and your limbs and your your body and movements and things like this. But this technology is going to be able to track your individual fingers, your entire hand, including your fingers, even the joints in your fingers. So using Sixth Sense and also a creative 3D camera, they had a demo of Portal 2, so you can actually play Portal 2 with your hands so they actually modified um, the game to be able to work with this new technology and they actually perform very well you're able to actually close your hand to drop the cube it looks pretty cool when you are playing with it and they whether say the controls are pretty solid for this just being an SDK them just really kind of working the the kinks out so far now they want to definitely bring this to a consumer product I think by the end of this year or sometime soon they are really working hard to get this thing out and I can really see a lot of good possibilities for this and even in the future they say this technology will be able to track your individual eyes as well which would be cool too. Now one feat that this technology can pull off will be great for YouTubers out there. I know a lot of YouTubers use green screens. Well this camera and this technology will be able to actually pull you out of really any scene. You don't need a green screen or anything behind you. You just pull you right out of the scene and put any type of background behind you. So this has a lot of great possibilities. And so ultimately I don't know how this is going to go when it is finally released. You know the Kinect definitely had a lot of steam going out when it was first launched but I really haven't heard anything about the Kinect or anybody using the Kinect um, here recently in the past few months. Um, so this technology definitely has has a lot of promise it's really cool once you actually get your hands on it but we'll see what type of longevity it's going to have in the consumer marketplace so anyway guys it's been another video here from soldier knows best here at ces 2013 down in las vegas leave a comment down below what you think about this perceptual technology that intel is showing and if something is you interested in leave that comment down below and i will catch you guys later peace and now our sponsor what is up, guys? I'm here at the Ford booth for CES 2013. Here with my man Edward. How's it going, yeah, man? How's it going? Good. And we're about to talk about Sync and the TDK that they have, so it helps developers make applications for their cars. Now, what was the whole process and thinking behind making this for developers? Uh, making this, um, basically, we want more developers in the vehicle. We want people to start creating some really unique, interesting applications. You know, instead of just you know internet radio or you know other type of maybe navigation apps, we want people to really think outside the box, so to speak. Um, and create something you know awesome for the vehicle. So this is what you send to developers. Can you give us a quick little yep. walkthrough about what this is? Yep, this is basically uh, the in-car experience. You have your screen on the top. Um, you have the center stack with all the necessary buttons, um, as well as some of the vehicle simulation buttons. Um, you can turn the car off and on, open doors. Um, you can tell it or make it simulate um, like the car is moving forward or going in reverse, you know, different um, aspects of that way. And this will allow you to make applications for Android and iOS. So right. Yep. Cover the two major platforms. Yep, that's always a good thing. Yep, always absolutely. a good thing. Well, thanks ever, man, oh, for stopping you. by and let us know about this. And I want to thank you guys for watching this CES 2013 coverage that is powered by Ford. I will catch you guys next time. Peace out.